Welcome to the St. Peter Parish Church online worship experience. It's great that you're able to join us and I pray that this will be a good experience for everyone this week. Last week I said the same sort of word. I wasn't sure whether it was going to be a good or a bad experience for everyone and I'm really grateful for people who've emailed in to say that they enjoyed taking part and watching and that there was a great sense of actually listening to God just like we normally do on a Sunday morning. Uh, for me, it turned out to be a very unusual experience, a very new experience. Uh, you would probably have seen the YouTube video that went viral, so I'm told. Uh, of, I managed to catch fire. My pullover got too close to a candle, and there I was on, on fire in the middle of the video. Uh, Lydia and Caroline loved it and immediately put it onto YouTube. So that's why people have managed to have a good laugh at my expense this week. I can't guarantee that anything like that will happen this week. Uh, but I know this is very corny, but we could pray for the fire of God to fall, couldn't we really? We have been praying after all. Lord, light a fire in Devon that no one can put out. So that is a genuine prayer that we can know the fire of faith and the fire of God's love at work in our hearts. Well, also just to say as we begin that there are other things on the website that you can look at and there are some wonderful bedtime Bible stories that Lewis and Morag have put together and there's also uh, available today some Sunday School children's things for you to watch on the a link there on the website too. And also as we begin, let me explain that in a moment I will uh, be saying prayers as we start this time of worship together and then you'll be able to click the worship section. That's got three songs on it. Uh, but do remember, you if you're not familiar with this, you can skip the ads that you get on the YouTube clips. So skip the ads, listen to the three songs, join in, sing in your own room if you dare, uh, and enjoy that, and then come back to the working it out section in a moment. So let's pray as we begin this morning together. Whether we're al alone in our different places, whether you've got a cup of coffee in your hands, whether you're with family, Heavenly Father, we pray that you will draw close to us and pour out your Spirit into our hearts. We pray, dear Lord, that you will speak to us and that even though we're physically apart from each other, you will join us together as your people. That even though we can't see each other, you, Lord, will speak to each one of us and that we can know your presence, be touched by your power, Grow as your disciples, even in these difficult days. So come, Holy Spirit, be our inspiration and our guide, we pray in Jesus' name. And then let's join in a prayer that you may well know, Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open. All desires known and from whom no secrets are hidden. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen.